Hey guys, let's recap episode one of the book of Boba Fett. All right, guys, welcome to a special edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick. We do movies, TV shows, music, and for the next seven weeks, we're breaking down each episode one by one of the Book of Boba Fett. Today, we're doing episode one, and be warned. Spoilers! So without further delay, let's get into it. Okay, guys, chapter one opens with Boba Fett in the Bacta tank, and he's dreaming. We see flashbacks from Attack of the Clones, when he was a small child on Kamino as he picked up his father Jango Fett's decapitated head. Then there's another flashback as he awakens in the Sarlacc pit as he makes his escape. So it's canon now. This is truly how Boba Fett escaped and now we know. Then the major flashback comes into play. As he passes out after coming out of the Sarlacc pit, a group of Jawas strip him of his armor, and then he's captured by a tribe of Tusken Raiders. Now we flash forward, and he's finding his footing as the new crime boss after taking over Jabba the Hutt's syndicate. Now during the tributes, the mayor of Mos Espa did not come. He sent a delegate instead, and it is implied that it is Boba who should pay tribute to him. So we know that this is going to be a problem down the road. Now, he and Finnick are attacked in the streets by an unknown group. I'm willing to bet that has something to do with the mayor. They do overtake the unknown group, and as Finnick goes after the two who flee, she's sequestered by Boba Fett to bring back one alive and Boba and his guards get him back to the palace where he resubmerges into the Bacta tank. He flashes back again to his captivity by the Sand People and as he tried to escape the initial capture, a Rodian captive alerted the raiders causing Boba's efforts to be thwarted. Later on, while taken out on a hunt for water by a youngling, they encounter a massive sand beast and the monster manages to kill the Rodian and before he can get to the young raider, Boba uses his chains to kill the monster. When heading back to the village campsite, the youngling carries in the monster's head and appears to imply that he was the one victorious in the fight. But while most of the tribe circles him and congratulates him on his efforts, it is clear to the chief raider that it was the parched Boba Fett who was victorious and awards him with his own cup of water. All right, and that's where this episode ends. And on the surface, it seems like it's a very simple episode, but this is used for a setup and a slight backstory. We're gonna get more into his captivity with the Tusken Raiders. And I, I believe that he was captive for quite a while because it's several years after Return of the Jedi, during the Mandalorian that we see him still roaming the sands of Tatooine as a nomad. And I believe that this is where he learned more hand-to-hand -hand combat and couldn't rely on any armor. And I'm sure we're gonna get more insight into how he's gonna rule and how he's going to gain the respect that he wants. Hey, so far so good. It's Boba freaking Fett. All right, that's episode one of the book of Boba Fett. Be sure and get back with us next week for another episode. We're going through all seven episodes of this season and make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. That way you never miss an episode. As always, stay positive, stay blessed. I'll see you again.